we often take film for granted. We see grainy, sepia told old footage all the time. But where does it come from and who keeps it? The Yorkshire Film Archive are responsible for collecting and archiving Yorkshire's treasures on film. Starting this month as part of the Britain on Film project, you'll be able to see some of this material on the new BFI player. One of the films was made at the University of Leeds. So I'm here with Simon and you're going to tell me a little bit about um, the film about the university, is that right? Absolutely. Yeah. So when was this film made? The film was made in 1925. Um, it was a time when the university was expanding um, and we had some great facilities but I think at the time there was a feeling that the university needed a library. Um, the library we had, the, the facilities were pretty ropey so they wanted to build a new library um, and so this, this film was made to tell, people, tell local people about the university but also to enlist their support in helping the university to expand. So it's silent and it's in black and white. How did they get that message across? Well, it is silent. I mean, it's very much like a silent film of the time. You see, you see footage and then you see panels with words on them, just like you would in a, a Charlie Chaplin film or whatever. Um, so we believe, we don't know for sure how, where it was shown, but what we think happened was that it was shown in, in cinemas as a, as a sort of prelude to the main feature. So just like Pathy News was, was happening at that sort of time as well. So people would come in to see whatever the great, um, the great blockbuster was of the day, but would be shown this as a sort of prelude to it. So you could see something like this in your local lead cinema? I think so. I mean, it, obviously it was a time when people didn't have televisions and, you know, cinema was a major form of, a form of entertainment. And um, so it was a, it was a means of, of us communicating with, with the masses. The message was also repeated, of course, in the newspapers, but, but the film obviously was specifically made for cinemas. So the Yorkshire Film Archive are releasing this as in part of their big, big push to release films lately. Why, why is this significant? Why is it important? Um, I think it's great um, to show how the university was built with public support. I mean, the, the film particularly appeals to local people, not, not necessarily wealthy people or millionaires, but just anyone who can help us in some small way. Um, there's part of the film asks for donations of scrap metal and scrap, scrap silver and that sort of thing. And we do know that people were were galvanised to come to the support of the of the university. Um, I think as a piece of social history it's really fascinating that it shows how people, it, uh, the film appealed to people's civic pride. It compares Leeds to Oxford and to Cambridge and to Bristol and it's saying look if, if we want to be a great city we, we need a great university and ours, our university should be every bit as good as as good as those cities um, and of course the library which um, which now exists which was built as a direct result of that appeal um, is fantastic and you know 90 years on is still an enormous part of this university and it's a place where you know and to, uh, we're currently uh, approaching the university holidays but during the exam period it's incredibly busy in there with students revising and getting ready for exams. You just got a new library right? We've just got a new, um, a new undergraduate library, the Laidlaw Library which is across the road. Um, when the, when the um, Brotherton Library was built, I think we had about a thousand students. I can't remember the exact numbers, I think you know, a little over a thousand. We now have 30 times that number. Yeah. Um, and the, the Laidlaw Library was part about addressing that, about giving a, you know, fur, further space for students to study. So getting back to the film for a minute, some of the footage that's in that film, some of that material, some of those buildings are still there, aren't they? You know, what's it like to look at something it's almost 100 years old and, and walk past that same building. Oh, it's phenomenal to see. I mean, the, the Great Hall and, and, and the buildings which um, are called cloth workers' buildings have been there since the late Victorian era. Um, but to see them, obviously, we, I walk past them every day and, you know, they're marvellous buildings, lovely to look at. But to see footage of them being used in the 1920s and at one point there's a car driving along University Road. You can't do that anymore because it's pedestrianised. But it's amazing to see that the, that the buildings that are familiar to us were just as familiar to people, you know, nearly a hundred years ago. For these two shots, we are standing in the same place, or as close as we could make it, to the ground this cameraman stood on 90 years ago. The Great Hall is almost identical to how it was then.
So you just said that you know you pass these buildings every day. Does it give you a different appreciation for them, seeing them in black and white? You know, almost 100 years ago. Does it make you feel something different? Does, does it appreci I, make I you think, appreciate them in a, in a different way? I think going into the Brotherton Library as people do every day. I think for people who go in there, they perhaps don't realise that that came about as a result of philanthropy, as a result of ordinary people supporting the university. I mean, it was a time in the 20s when we offered, we offered bursaries to students and scholarships for students, as we still do. But university wasn't at that point supported by government at all. Um, if the city wanted a university, the city had to go out and make its own university. You know? um, and that's how the university came about. It came about in, in its origins from the support of local people. Um, and it's really quite humbling now to look at that wonderful library that we have and to realise that it came about simply through other people's generosity. So it's been almost 100 years. How is, it, how, is the university still the same? Is that idea of, of generosity and, and civic, civic pride, is that still around, do you think, in Leeds? Um, you only have to look at the Laidlaw Library to see that it is, you know, that there was one major donation that helped us build that library from Irvin Laidlaw. But there's a, there's a wall in there with the names of all the donors, and there's two, something like 2,500 people whose gifts, large and small, have helped to make that happen. Um, some of these will be local people, some of them will be our former students, but overwhelmingly it, it's just, just pride in the university, whether as a local person or as a, as a former student, that has made that happen.